Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Stranded Deep. This is going to be Season 1, this is going to be Part 1. Okay, so some of you might be asking, well, what is Stranded Deep? I didn't even hear about it till yesterday. The game came out today. Uh, basically, you take the role of a plane crash survivor stranded somewhere in the uh, Pacific Ocean, experience terrifying encounters both above and below an endless environment, come face to face with some of the most life-threatening scenarios that will result in different experiences each time you play. Scavenge, discover, survive. So yeah, Stranded Deep is an adventure indie early access game. Uh, it's also open world crafting survival. It's uh, made by a team called Beam Team Games. Never heard of them before, but you know, I never heard of the Fun Pimps before I started getting into Seven Days to Die either. So yeah, this game is, uh, you know, you survive a plane crash. It reminds me a little bit of the forest, minus all the... Uh, uh, all the cannibals and uh, it also reminds me a little bit of castaway. So um, let's get started Okay, so here we are on a plane and uh, we're gonna look around here. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Oh Okay, we need to find a serving trolley and make myself a martini. Well, shouldn't there be uh, other people to do that for me? But whatever What's up guys? Oh, here we go Let's take a look what we got here Crafting objects are highlighted in orange. Oh god, you went f quick. Hold left mouse button to craft a martini using the crafting uh, group on the trolley. So what you have to do is you have to hold down the left mouse button for a second, and then the martini comes up. Tells you what you need, you click it, and you've made the martini. Press tab to open your inventory and select the lighter. Okay, tab, we got a little lighter here. And uh, you could also uh, select the lighter by just pressing 1. So, And uh, we're going to light this sucker, and look at that. A fire martini. Pick it up with E and left mouse button to drink your martini. So let's go and let's drink it up. All right. All crafting and building combinations in Stranded Deep are constructed with, oh God, in this way. Uh, head back to your seat. It's going to be a long flight. Okay. So this is going to remind you a little bit of the forest. I'm just going to, I'm just going to warn you. Also, the sound levels might be a little odd here in the first video or two. So uh, please bear with me. And we're just going to sit here and relax. At least we don't have a kid on our arm. Like in the far Oh my goodness. Oh, it's going bad. It's going bad. Oh my goodness. Here we go. We're going down. We're going down. It'd be cool if you could see yourself getting closer to the ocean. You know, when you look out the side of the window. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh no. Oh my lord. Here we go. Oh god, I can't breathe. Um, can I take any of this stuff? No. Maybe we should worry about getting somewhere we could breathe. Um, I think we can go up here to breathe. Get a little bit of air. Here we go. Alright, now let's get out of here. Oh, over here to the left, it looks like I can get out. Okay. Oh my goodness. Gotta get to the lifeboat! Gotta get to the lifeboat! Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, now what does this remind you of? Does this not remind you of Castaway? By the way, guys, if you haven't seen Castaway, you should definitely watch it. This is straight out of Castaway. Come on, explode already. I don't has all day. Come on. There you go. Good job. All right. Here we are on our raft, and um, I'm going to take a second here and turn up the volumes a little bit now because I, I, I like the sound in this game, but that plane crash was a real a re real loud one. So just give me one second. Let me turn up the volumes. Okay, here we are. So we've got a little paddle right here. We're going to pick that up, and we are going to paddle our way to that island. All right, this game also reminds me a little bit of salt, the way the islands are. It's pretty interesting. The game looks beautiful. You can see right here. Um, they do. They do have an infinitely uh, pr uh, procedurally generated world, exotic, exotic Pacific islands, reefs, and bottomless tre ocean trenches filled with detailed biomes. No two worlds are the same. So there you go. All right, we're gonna leave this right here. Press E to throw something. And now we're gonna look around here. All right, let's see what we got on us. We got a knife, which I'm gonna put in number. Wait. Let's throw some of this stuff on the ground. There we go. Want knife to be number one. And we want lighter to be number two. There we go. 
So go look around here on this island. It's a oh, it's a really nice island. We got some potato plants. We got a we got a stick. We'll pick that up with E. And we're just gonna look around, see what we got going on here. All right, what do we got here? What is this? A yucca plant. Well, let's let's hit this yucca plant with the knife, and we're gonna get some lashings, which is basically rope. I think we can hit it some more. If you press C, you can duck. No. I've hit these twice before, but I think they have to grow back or something. So, I'm going to go around here. We'll pick up the stone, this rock. All right. While we're looking around, if you hold down the F key, you can see right there, we've got the temperature, 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's pretty hot here. It is 846, I'm guessing, in the morning, uh, the 13th of May. Zero days survived. If you left click the mouse button, you got your health, your health bar. The middle one is your hunger meter and the right one is your thirst meter. Yes, this is a survival game. That's what I, it's the kind of games I play guys. You, you know that. All right. So let's see what else we can find here. Got a stick, got some crabs, we'll munch on those later. Uh, got another stone here. It's good. All right. You can see there's other islands off there in the distance. Very good, very good. Oh, another stick. You can sprint. Another rock. All right, let's do some crafting. So this is how you're gonna craft. All right, um, you're basically gonna throw the stuff on the ground. All right, and then you're going to craft with it. Throw a stone, a stick, couple of lashings. Oh, maybe just one lashing, and we can make a crude axe. There you go. We just made an axe. So what can we do with the axe? Well. I really wish I could move this stuff around in my inventory. So, let's see what we can do with the axe. Look at this tree. By the way, you can climb these trees. And you're going to want to climb them because they have nice coconuts. And you're going to... I can't hold anymore. And you're going to survive on these coconuts. I don't know if there's fall damage. But to be perfectly honest, I don't want to find out. Oh, if you just hold backwards, you'll just kind of shimmy down the tree. But there's another thing we could do with this tree. We can cut it down. Check it out with my axe, yo. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, don't go in the water. Ugh, I really Oh my god, a shark! You freaking shark. Get out of here. Great, now how am I gonna get my tree? The tree just almost fell on a shark's head. Jeez, that's a big freaking shark, dude. That tree's gone. Get away from my tree, you jerk! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these uh, trunks up. Grab the sticks. Can't grab anymore. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and we are going to throw... We're gonna throw some stuff on the ground that we don't need. Let's go ahead and throw these coconuts over here. Put them over here just because I don't want them rolling into the ocean, especially with the shark there. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Let's dump, let's just dump everything. Alright, we're gonna need some more lashing, so let's go around and look for some more... ...yucca stuff. Actually, we're gonna need the, uh, the knife for that. There's one. Man, I didn't realize there's so many sharks around here. That's not good. That's not good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Some more sticks. Did this one grow back? Yep, this one grew back. So the lashings do grow back. That's important. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and make another item we can make. Let's go ahead and... Let's grab these sticks. Is this freaking shark gonna like live over here? Cause it's quite a, oh, I don't see him anymore. I still don't have the, the guts to go in that water, though. With the stupidity, I guess. It would be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? Alright, so let's grab our sticks. Let's throw some rope. E. We're going to need some more stones. I think we're going to need two stones for this. And what do we got here? A crude hammer. Okay. Now we're looking good. Okay, so let's take a look at our inventory. Yeah, not being able to move stuff around here is really bothering me. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just we'll deal. And cut down this tree. We're gonna need a lot more sticks because we're gonna need a place to stay for the night. 
So let's go ahead and cut these trunks up. Yeah, um, this game also has a dynamic weather and day-night cycle. Uh, struggle to navigate the stormy seas or enjoy basking in the uh, with the coconuts in the sunny afternoon. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. Um, unique physically based crafting system. You guys are getting a first hand look at that. Uh, where you just kind of throw stuff on the ground and kind of put it together. Uh, this game is brand new and it's not really well known right now. So it's hard to find the information uh, on how to craft stuff. So, <laughs> you know. I'm sure this game's going to do well though because it seems pretty cool. I don't know how limited it is. I don't know how long the Let's Play is going to go. But, you know, I'm having a good time. So that's all that matters. Oh, we can make a campfire. I don't want to make a campfire. I want to chop down this log. Um, there's also detailed survival aspects and interaction. Man manage your vital your vitals of hunger, thirst, blood, and health. Yeah, we've already seen all that. Okay. So we need some room. Let's see what we can get rid of here. Let's get rid of some sticks. We'll put those over here. And we will get rid of this water bottle just because I don't really need it right now. All right, let's pick up some stuff. These are pretty big to be called sticks, don't you think? All right, so where do I want to make my little house? I'm thinking, like, right here is pretty good. All right, yeah, that'll work. So, to make a house, you know what? I'm really not sure what I need to make a house yet. Um... Let's see what we can make here. We could make a campfire. We don't care about a campfire. But if you use a hammer, everything turns blue. And I can't make the house. Do I not have enough sticks? I think I may need eight sticks for the foundation. I'm not, or maybe I need rope. To tell you the truth, I'm really not sure. We'll just start throwing stuff down until we can make something. Rope. Nope, not rope. More sticks? Yeah, it was more sticks. Foundation. There we go. I don't know if I want it to, I don't know how high I want this to be off the ground. I don't know if you can make, like, stairs up to your foundation. I do want it to be off the ground. Because you don't want crabs and stuff, like, crawling on you at night. The thing is, I don't know if you can make, like, um... Oh god, how are you supposed to get up there? Ugh, I made a foundation I can't get up to. Awesome. Good job, Cage. I don't know if you can make stairs or anything. I'm, you might be able to. I'm not really sure. Alright, so the next thing we're going to make... Let's make another foundation. I want to make a, a walkway up there. So we're going to throw these down. What do we say? Eight sticks, right? We need one more. Wow, I don't have any more sticks. Wow. You really go through a lot of sticks, dude. Alright, um, I really don't like to let trees go to waste, but man, I'm really worried about a shark. I think we'll be okay. Oh, I might be able to drag this out of there. Yeah, I forgot, if you hold down a right mouse button, you can drag stuff around. That's right. Oh, good, I'm glad I remembered that. Ha ha ha, shark! You're not gonna eat me today. Maybe later. Maybe when I go back out on my little freaking rubber dinghy or whatever the hell it is. Then he'll have me for lunch, but not till later, pal. Not till later. Alright, let's cut these up. Let's cut these up. What else we got here? Um, Random loot and collectibles. Search sunken shipwrecks and islands for interesting rare equipment. That sounds, inter that sounds interesting, like they said. Uh, hunting and fishing. Spear small animals in the shallows or risk the depths with a spear gun in search of larger meals. Um, starve, in, starve an island of resources or maintain and manage its growth. Wow. You know what this reminds me of? Not only does it remind me of uh, Castaway, and I'm going to mention this again. If you guys haven't watched Castaway, you should. It's a fantastic movie. But it also reminds me of Survivor Man. I know there was one episode where he lived on an island, and uh, it kind of reminds me of that quite a bit. Uh, there's no multiplayer in this game, though. I don't know if they're ever going to add it, but uh, that would be a nice addition for sure. Alright. 
Let's make this other, like this walkway up. There might be a way to make stairs for all I know, but I don't know how to. Yeah, foundation. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's putting it right up against the other one. That means I can't make it like a walkway. Crap. Well, I could make multiple foundations, but... Ugh. Ah, uh, it sucks. Eh, good enough. At least it makes it easier to get up there. That was stupid to make it so high. I definitely should have made it so high, but eh, what are you going to do? Live and learn. I'm sure it'll just be one of many mistakes I make. Oh, really? I don't have any more room? Oh, God, I still have a lot of sticks. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and make supports for this bad boy. All right, this is how you make supports. You take these, you just throw them up there. Then you take the little hammer thingy. Go on there. Go to support. And just like in Rust, you know, they're supports. There we go. We got a support. All right, now we need to make some walls. And the thing we're going to need to make walls is these uh, palm fun thingies, whatever the heck they're called. What do I have in my hand here? Nothing. Okay. Uh, we need to throw some stuff down. Whoops. I didn't do that. We're going to need more of those things, so let's go ahead and... Actually, we, sh we should have more than four. How can we only have four? I thought we had more than that. Did I not finish up chopping this up? Hmm. Yeah, well, we only have four. Whatever. All right, so we got to go make a wall. I'm not quite sure what I need to make the wall, to be honest. I made one before, but I don't remember. So let's just uh, throw a bunch of stuff there. And there we go, a wall. Alright, make one right here, there we go, come on, I had it, alright, nice looking wall, right, pretty good, pretty good, and we need more sticks, wow, we didn't need uh, as many of those uh, leaf things as I thought, really need a lot more sticks, probably gonna need more than that. Yeah, we're definitely getting more than that. Let's chop down another tree. Come on, chop down the damn tree. And you can't just chop down any tree. At least I don't think you can. Uh, the only thing they'd let me chop down so far is the palm trees. So. I wonder if the, uh, if the coconuts rot. That would be a shame. That'd be a damn shame. Come on, chop, damn you, chop. Chop! Chop, I tell you. Come on, dude, seriously? Wait, what? I don't know, that was weird. It wouldn't, like, wouldn't work. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this game's early access, like I said. Um, it's a pretty sweet game. It's kind of like a mixture. It seems like a mixture between um, Salt and The Forest, maybe a little bit. I, I, I don't know. Uh, the developers are very, uh, seem very active, seem very gung-ho about this game, I'm very excited about it. It's funny, like, I didn't find out about it until yesterday. One of my subscribers told me about it, and then it came out the next day, and here I am doing a video. It's pretty crazy. I had some computer issues today, too, so I was supposed to be streaming right now, but, uh, I have to cancel the stream because I need to get this video up. It's kind of a shame, but what are you going to do? All right, guys, uh, I'm going to continue chopping this stuff up. This video is just about done. I'm going to make these videos a little shorter just because I want to do some research in between and get, and get some videos made. But uh, I'm going to call this one here, and that is going to be it for part one. And I'll see you next time for part two. Till then, take it easy.